So we just evolved all of our Bitsies to Max. Now they just gave us some treats so we can use those treats to summon some new pets. Let's see what we got. Is that a goldfish? Watermelon. What is that? Hedgehog. Oh, it's the hedgehog. We got, yeah, we got one more treat. Got some new bitsy friends. Hi, guys. 
guys welcome back to the channel I just wanted to do a quick little Christmas haul of everything well almost everything that I got for Christmas and also happy new year we did just on New Year's Eve hit 1,000 subscribers so I just want to say thank you so much thank you my goal was to hit 1k by the new year and we did it on New Year's Eve so I'm so happy and I'm so appreciative of all of you so thank you so much for watching and for supporting my videos and without further ado let's get into everything that I got for Christmas <laughs> so if you guys have been with me for a while you probably have noticed that I love to cook so I always tend to get some new kitchen appliances or cooking things for Christmas and this year I got this and if you were watching during vlogmas you probably already saw me unbox and use this for the first time this is probably one of the best things I have ever gotten this is a popcorn machine and I am not joking when I say that I have been making popcorn with this almost every single night I am obsessed with it it's by dash which I had never heard of before but I will absolutely recommend after using this so many times it's amazing you just put the butter or oil on the bottom if you want it and then the kernels and it just spins and makes movie theater popcorn basically and I haven't tried this yet personally but you can even put butter up here and it will slowly melt and drizzle butter all over the popcorn while it's popping I'm very excited to try that out and when it's done you just flip it over and this is the bowl <laughs> then you just take it off and you have popcorn it also has this nice um, cable clip and holder which if you know you know about any appliance I also got this this is an adorable little frog waffle maker it's so cute I love it so much from what I heard I can't eat regular pancakes because <laughs> I can't have wheat but from what I heard it was really delicious I'm going to make some gluten-free waffles in this very soon but I just haven't tried it yet for some reason I keep getting appliances in this like like seafoam green kind of like blue green color and I'm totally vibing with it so I also have last year I think it was I got the KitchenAid standing mixer in this color I'm kind of just rolling with it and trying to get everything in my kitchen this pretty pastel light blue color I love it I'm so excited I have two new things to add to my collection now let's get into the other gifts that I got so I kind of just crammed everything into this one bag but I'll try and go through it all one at a time got this diamond art kit which I've never tried this but I have seen people try this and talk about it I know Cozy K mentioned this in her cozy hobbies video recently so I'm excited to try this this will be a fun hobby craft to do maybe we could do it together let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in watching me try this never done it before but it looks really fun next thing I got is this label maker I've always wanted one of these so this was a nice surprise to get one thing that's cool about this is apparently it can do labels in Japanese which is gonna be super helpful because I'm going to be studying Japanese pretty hardcore this year more info on that later <laughs> so I'm very excited to try this out maybe we'll unbox it together sometime soon next I got Got this cute little strawberry milk cow squishy very cute it will go nicely with my strawberry milk squishy that I have up there <laughs> so super cute I got this fuzzy purple claw clip it's super soft next I got this Osaka Japan t-shirt from some relatives who went to Japan this year it's so cool similarly they got me some socks from Japan these are really really pretty I like happy socks they've got this pretty purple Japanese design on it with the purple mountain I also got these Snoopy chocolates <laughs> from Japan I haven't opened them yet, but it says milk chocolate and matcha, so I'm very interested. I'm sure it'll be delicious. You might have seen this in my Christmas vlog, but look how cute this is. It's also another little box of chocolates. Honestly, I don't even want to open it because it's so adorable. I got a Bath & Body Works shower gel, and honestly, I haven't even opened it, so I don't even know what it smells like. Let's try it. If I can get it open. Mmm, it smells really nice and fresh. Very flowery. This would be perfect in the spring, but I got another shower gel. 
And this one is, I guess, from Italy, actually, from the same relatives that went to Japan. They travel a lot. And this one is a red camellia. Let's see how it smells. Hmm, it's very nice and light and flowery. I like it. I love floral scents, so this will be perfect for me. I love it. Next, I got this lavender vanilla aromatherapy body lotion. It's nice because it's got shea butter and hyaluronic acid, which you know I love. We love this. <laughs> it has a really nice scent. It's not overly lavender powerful kind of smelling because sometimes lavender can be a bit much in my opinion. Very relaxing. Next, we got, of course, of course, a Christmas candle. This is Winter Candy Apple. This is a very sweet scent. I like this one a lot. I think I was telling you guys in one of my vlogs that I haven't been collecting candles as much because I was scared because my neighbors burned their apartment down, like literally to a crisp. And so I kind of got rid of all my candles. I used to collect so many. I had a whole cupboard full. But I got rid of them all because they were just sitting there because I was afraid to use them. And then just recently, I just have been seeing a lot of clean with me videos and Sunday resets and I just really miss burning a candle just after cleaning and feeling cozy and now that it's winter candles are the ultimate cozy thing in the winter so I'm going to just start collecting a few candles that I really love and this is nice because it was a gift and it's got a very wintry scent so I'm going to stick with this for now and I'm very excited and then finally I got some practice practical gifts for traveling because I am planning on doing some traveling this year. So these are compression socks and a travel pillow slash blanket. Of course, in my favorite color, purple. Love it! I'm not going to spoil my travel plans just yet, but I am hoping to go on a really big, exciting, fun trip this year. I can't wait to use these. Also not shown in this video because it's too large is a new suitcase that I got from my parents. Stay tuned if you want to know later on where I will be traveling to this year. If you know me, you might be able to guess. <laughs> and that's about it for the Christmas haul. Also not shown were some chocolates that I already ate, as well as some concert tickets, which I will not be revealing just yet, but I will be taking you guys along with us for that, at least a little bit. Oh, and check out these adorable stickers that came with my little waffle maker. They're so cute. I think I'm gonna use these in my new planner. We're going to get to that next. Oh, and one more thing. How could I forget? My family got me this amazing Animal Crossing gift set. So I really wanted to unbox this with you guys and see what's inside. It's official Animal Crossing merch. Let's open this up and see what's in there. I really don't want to damage the box because it's so cute. Got all the plastic off. Let's open her up. Oh my goodness, this is so cute already. First of all, we've got this little water bottle. It's got a little Animal Crossing leaf tag on it. I'm gonna definitely save that and put it in my little junk journal because you know, I love to save tags. And look at the pretty detailing on the side of the bottle. It's got all these little Animal Crossing leaves. It's so cute. Next. We've got a keychain. Oh, it's a little message bottle with a recipe inside. How cute is this? It's got the leaf, and then here's the little bottle. It's even got a real cork in it, but it's got the little recipe card inside. The nooks on the back. Definitely going to save that as well. I already have so many keychains on my key ring, but maybe I'll attach this to my switch bag. I love keychains. Right, next is a blanket. Let's open it up. I see we've got Isabel, little tree, KK slider, Tom Nook. It's almost like a baby blanket. It's so soft and pastel. It's really cute. It's fleece. I think I'm gonna leave this on my couch though. This will be really cozy to sit with while I'm watching YouTube. Next up is this little bag. I'm not sure what this is, so let's open it up. Oh wow, it's actually really big. It is a tote. Or maybe like a backpack. It's got this big 
have zipper pocket on the front. So that's cute. It's the same pattern as the blanket. It's very thin, but it's super adorable. Next, we have, oh, a beanie. I love beanies so much. This is really nice and thick. Very stretchy, which I love because I have a big head. <laughs> and then finally, we have a bento box. So let me cut this open. How cute! It's got little handles, kind of like a picnic basket. Let's open it up because there's something rattling around in there. Oh, there's spoons. It's a spoon and a fork. And then I think this little tray comes out. And there's little compartments inside. I think this is my very first own bento box. I love it. What a nice, thoughtful gift idea. Thank you so much to my wonderful family for gifting me this Animal Crossing gift box set. Thank you. I love this. Here's a couple of pages that I've done recently in my junk journal. Let's open up to a new page. I'm gonna put my 2023 calendar cover in here. Goodbye, called X Tiles that I really love. Thank you to Computer Boy who introduced this to me in one of her last videos. I will show you guys up close. So this is X Tiles. It's basically like a more minimalistic version of Notion and if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I have been using Notion for everything but it is a little bit complicated and hard to learn. I do have my Notion template usually linked in my description but I usually just use my content calendar which is just a big to-do list so I decided to try out X Tiles. This is the default template that they give you when you first sign up. This is what it originally looked like and I just basically changed all the pictures and all the colors and customized it so that it fit my aesthetic and filled in all the stuff. Some of it I changed to sort of fit my needs. Let me just give you a little tour of my X Tiles planner so far. This is the main page. There's this little navigation table of contents and then at the bottom are the links to the monthly planner and the weekly planner. So let's take a look at my yearly review. This is a review of the 2023 year. Next is the vision board. So we're going to go on Pinterest and find some photos and create a vision board here and I think I also want to make a wallpaper vision board as well. My big goal for this year is to become monetized on YouTube. As for the rest of my goals for the year, for personal goals, I want to reduce my sugar intake, work out weekly, balance my hormones, and study Japanese. I'm not gonna go too heavy into detail here. Week one planner. So I added this Pomodoro timer to help me do some work sprints. It's really cool that you can embed this right into the page. And then I've just got the days of the weeks and what I wanna prioritize for the week. And I try to only allow myself to do three big tasks per day. I find that if I do any more than that, I will really burn myself out. And I'm only gonna be using this digital planner for work and productivity. I might make another page for studying because like I said, I want to study Japanese and become a little bit more fluent in that. And then I got a separate physical planner that I will be using for my personal to-dos and stuff like that. It's very new, there's still 
implementing new features, but if you like Notion and it's just a little too complicated for you or you want to like Notion but it's a little too complicated for you, this is much more minimal. It's a little bit easier to get started, especially because they have these templates that you can start out with. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it. Give it a go. And we're just going to finish writing the yearly review and then we're going to make our vision board. Okay, so I filled everything out and I scrunched this up and added a little photo in here because I didn't have a whole lot there. And now we're gonna go to Pinterest and we're going to make our vision board so we have to collect some photos. Okay, so I saved a bunch of photos. Now I'm just going to try and cram as many of them as I can into this vision board. Here's what I've got so far. It looks really nice. I love how organized it is. I'm gonna take these photos and kind of make a collage in Canva now. I uploaded all my pictures and I dragged them over to the collage template and messed with it a bit until I got what I liked and I'm happy with this so now I'm going to download it and set it as my wallpaper. So now I have my vision board as the smaller monitor and my regular flower background as the main monitor. I actually think it turned out so cute. I love it so much. Uh, lastly, we're going to open my new physical planner. I got this off of Amazon for only like six or seven dollars, so it's a really good deal. It's just a basic planner. I thought it was a nice color. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a purple color. It does have an elastic band and a little elastic to hold your pen. And it says 2024 on the front. And like I said, it's just a super basic planner with a calendar. Let's see, I'll flip through all the pages. It's got 2024, 2025, and 2026. A quick reference page if you want to write your info in here. Some contacts, important dates. So this is kind of like a year at a glance page. I used to bullet journal, but I think I burned myself out by trying to make the cutest, most aesthetic bullet journal ever. And I could just never keep up with it for the whole year. So I figured this would be a good way to get myself back into bullet journaling and using a planner to help me keep track of everything. And I can still customize it and personalize it, which is why I wanted a really basic one. So I can use stickers and highlighters and markers and all that stuff to make it cute if I want to and if I don't have time it's okay I can still just jot down what I need to do that's why I picked this one out we've got some monthly spreads and now we've got the weekly spread I love this I love that it's so open and just basic so I can really like customize it oh look there's little stickers that come with it tabs maybe for the months so that you can mark where everything is and this is a little pocket Today's list in the back and some pages for extra notes. It's actually a lot of notes pages, which is nice. Yeah, just a bunch of extra pages for notes. So here's what I've got so far. On the inside cover, I did print out my vision board as well and I glued it on the inside front cover. And then this is my little title page that I drew and I added some stickers. On this page is the other half of the vision board and then these are just some more stickers and my mantra for right now which is I am strong. I actually ripped out a bunch of the pages that were like months that I didn't need and I just glued in this purple note page just from like an extra notepad that I have and I just wrote my goals here just to kind of cover up the old December <laughs> page that I didn't need and then here's my January monthly spread I'm using blue I used my blue Bic highlighter to underline 
the month here. And then I used some of these stickers just to decorate. Got a little Happy New Year spot. And then just my appointments written down. I like that there's this note section, so if I need to jot something down, I can do that. And then here's the first week. I just used the same stickers. I'm probably gonna use these stickers all month because I like to have a wintry kind of blue theme for January most of the time. So that's what we're gonna stick with. And then, yeah, I'll just continue to add stuff and decorate it as I go, but I like it so far. And it's nice because it has two ribbons for like a little placeholder bookmark thing. So I won't lose my place. Really, really pleased with this planner. It's very simple, but that's really what I was looking for. 